November 22nd With the fading away of joy one remains equanimous mindful and clearly conscious and experiences within oneself that happiness of which the noble ones say happy indeed is he who abides equanimous and mindful thus one enters and abides in the third jhana and with that happiness free from joy one suffuses drenches fills and permeates the whole body so that there is no spot in the entire body that is untouched by that happiness just as in a pond of blue red or white lotuses the flowers are born in the water grow in the water and are fed by the water but do not emerge from the water and thus are suffused drenched filled and permeated with cool water in the same way one suffuses drenches fills and permeates the whole body so that there is no spot untouched